The country of Qatar is a thin peninsula on the Arabian Gulf, a small piece of land, surrounded by long coastlines and rich deposits of oil and natural gas. The Qataris are rich, with the highest per capita income in the world. Qatar is also rich on contradiction. Between the adobe ruins of former civilizations and the glittering skylines twinkling against desert skies. The Qataris live their lives somewhere between the tribal traditions of the Bedouins and the billion dollar deals of the world's financial markets. Veiled women, laughing children, luxury limousines. It's National Day in Qatar, and the streets of the capital are a sea of violet flags. A proud nation, wealthiest in the world. Host for the 2022 World Cup, stockholder in dozens of Fortune 500 companies. Qatar has survived by compromise, a careful negotiator between nations. The people of Qatar have little experience with danger. Their country is secure, their finances are stable, as the wealthiest population in the world. The souk in the city is a modern bazaar. The young stroll leisurely in groups along the cobblestone alleyways, drinking tea in the cafes and smoking their shishas. Their elders were raised in a different world, a world of huts and goat herds, pearl divers and poverty. A little confused, they watch the younger generation pursue modern lifestyles, radically different, yet strongly rooted in tribal culture. The Qataris are a religious people, their faith an enlightened Islam. Their TV